Catalina and I'm here today to present the work of the Engineering Solutions Group here at MapleSoft. Now is a small humanoid robot created by Aldebaran Robotics. Standing 58 centimeter tall, now is used to teach students around the world programming and to give engineers and software developers a platform for experimentation and robotic applications. Now was even adopted recently by a financial institution in Japan to use as bank tellers. Engineers of MapleSoft decided to see if they could create a model of NOW in MapleSim, the advanced system level modeling and simulation tool that applies modern techniques to dramatically reduce model development time, provide greater insight into system behavior, and produce fat, high fidelity simulations. NOW is a highly complex multibody mechanism with 25 degrees of freedom. Using MapleSim's multibody library, MapleSoft engineers created a model using the denevit hardenberg convention to define the robot's joint coordinate frames. CAD models were then imported to define body mass, rotational inertia, and center of mass. Because MapleSim is a physical modeling system, the model diagram corresponds closely to the physical system itself. denevit hardenberg is a convention for attaching coordinate frames to joints between two links and using four parameters to define the coordinate transformation between joints. Here's a video of now doing Tai Chi. In this model, four contact points are modeled at each of now's feet, providing contact between now and the ground. Now was modeled using six different subsystems, head, body, left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. For example, as seen in this image, if you double click on Now's left arm within MapleSim, you should see a series of components representing its arm mechanism, a set of CAD visualization components and input commands for each joint. MapleSim is an attached modeling environment. One benefit of this is that the model reflects the physical structure of the system as opposed to the structure of the right mathematical equations. As you can see in this diagram, each denavit hardenberg component reflects the coordinate transformation to a joint of Nao's arm and they are connected together in series like the physical system. The MapleSim model also includes a light ion battery pack model from the MapleSim battery library that powers the motor so that the behavior of the battery and its interaction with the rest of the system can be modeled as well. Now let's take a look at Now's arm servo motor. Servo motors appear at each joint to drive the movement. Within each subsystem, there is a DC motor, position controller limited PID, power controller, and reduction gear. Signals from the controller trigger the motor to reposition each joint. We can take a look at the position, speed, or torque of the joints through sensors. Also, by using thermal library components, we can estimate the generated heat from the electric motors and get a sense of the temperature variation in a different location. In combination, these individual servo motors determine how now moves. In this image, you can see that the servo motors for each joint drive the movement of the robot's arm. A simulation animation of the model on the right is shown here, along with some samples results including the temperature at Nao's right arm pitch joint, the power consumed, and the torque at the motor's output shaft. The engineers were also able to model the contact between Nao's foot and the floor. This was done by creating custom components in MapleSim and supplying the mathematical equations that govern friction and normal force. These components were included in the model at each point of contact on the base of each foot. In this image, you can see how equation-based custom components were used to model the contact point between the foot and the ground. Sensor readings of each joint were exported from Aldebaran Robotics Choreography to MapleSim via a time lookup table. These were then used as the command signal for each joint. 
The model responded in the same way the physical robot did. For instance, the Maple Zoo model can perform Tai Chi as adeptly as its physical counterpart. The multibody analysis template was used to retrieve Nao's multibody equations in a form that is suitable for manipulation and analysis. Using MapleSim API commands, a model is created that allows access to key properties of the multibody system. For example, the mass matrix and constraints. Numeric parameter values of the model were obtained through MapleSim API commands and substituted into the position constraint equation. However, it is also possible to keep certain parameters symbolic. This way, the numeric value of these parameters can be varied in the future and the inverse kinematic solution will still be correct. Lastly, maple solve command was used to calculate the inverse kinematic solution. Then, the solution obtained in maple was converted to Modelica code and created as a Modelica custom component. It is also possible to use the equation-based custom component template to create the same component. Now that they had a model that simulates the movement of the now robot, the MapleSoft engineers then wanted to see if they could not just simulate its behavior accurately, but also teach it to do something new. Using MapleSim's ability to extract and analyze the mathematical equations of a motion of a model, as well as its multi-body analysis tools, they determined the symbolic solution to the inverse kinematic problem for the motion of the robot's arm. With this solution, they could calculate the joint motions necessary to place the arm in an arbitrary location in space. They used this information to add a new custom component to the model that takes the desired end position and calculates the movements needed to achieve it. Then, they thought the virtual now to draw. They created an application that allows a human to sketch a shape, image, or word using a mouse. The sketch is analyzed to determine the coordinates of the lines, and then the information is fed into the simulation model. The result now moves his arm and draws the same thing. Here you can see a human sketching a maple leaf in maple. Automatically, maple exports the target coordinates to MapleSim. Inverse kinematics is used to calculate the required joint positions to reach target coordinates. This allows now to draw the same maple leaf. Thank you for watching our presentation today. If you wanted to learn more about now, maple seam or maple, including requesting a demo or evaluations of any of our products, visit our website at www.maplesoft.com. To stay connected to the latest news and updates from MapleSoft, don't forget to subscribe.